So guys, Jonesy316 here, obviously for the Jonesy Gym Wag episode 4, we've got J. Him. we've got J. Dot himself, um, yeah, obviously Deli Meat suggested him, and I thought to myself, well, yeah, why not bring him on the show, considering I have seen him on stream, and literally in Deli Meat stream, and yeah, obviously any questions you guys have, you can ask him as well. But I'm going to ask you, obviously, how long have you been playing Call of Duty? Because Deli Meat obviously said to me to talk about it. <laughs> I've been playing for quite some time now. It's so like yeah. some years. years really? Now. Look at that. What yeah. was your first Call of Duty game then? On that note? I have to say the old Modern Warfare. Oh. Actually, I've actually, played, I've actually played the like the old, old time, like the World War. I've actually played oh. that one. Yeah, so I kind of go back. <laughs> Fucking hell. World at War, bloody hell. I love that game. I loved it. Especially. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I go I go pretty back. <laughs> Way back to the old days, eh? Right. Way back to yeah. the old days. Gotta love those older games, tell you. Especially because the new games are like... I think the new games, they're, they're pretty... They're all right, but they're not as good as those old games. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, my, my all-time favorite Call of Duty is... Uh, Black Ops 2, by far. Oh, right. Black Ops 2. That's yeah, that's, Black Ops. It's even Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops 2, usually, some people's Modern Warfare 2. But I think, uh, I think my favourite has to be World of War. <laughs> it fucking has to be. Okay, 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 yeah. okay, okay. My favourite. Okay. Like it's about your life, then. Like... Um, like anything in particular, or yeah, just... just just your life in general, I guess, because obviously you told me to talk about that. So, okay. Uh well. Uh, I'm married. Yep. To my uh beautiful wife, won't disclose her name, but I will say pink <laughs> sunflowers. Um. <laughs> Also was blessed to be in a family um, that actually loves me, that actually uh, is there for me because my family is kind of non-existent. Yeah. Um, so I do kind of lean on them, if that makes sense, yeah. uh, on certain things mm -hmm. that my family kind of lacks, I guess, from giving me things that, you know, you kind of should have just got as a child or either just, you know, whatever age. Yeah. Um, aside of that, uh, life's good, man. Uh, we're married. Uh, we've gone on two years married, October 22nd. Wow. Uh, we've been together since 2019, yeah. November 4th. Um, we met in, we met in math class in uh, college. Oh, did you? Yeah. So, I'm going to say college. I guess <laughs> you call it college sweethearts, man. Hey, we had our up and down. Sorry about that. I was speaking to a. What'd you say? I was speaking to a person on the chat saying, "Hey Jay, how are you doing?" Right. It's fine. You continue. Uh, yeah, we uh had some ups and downs. Yeah. Um, solely things that um how I'm not pretty proud man? of. I guess you know that I put her through. Yeah. Some just crazy <laughs> situations, yeah. but uh, we're here, yeah. and I think for the most part, that's why I'm more appreciative because. It's, it's the experience from learning, making sure that you learn from your experience. Yep. And people will join our, uh, you know, Yo, general, to things to sometimes run, like, oh, y'all are just the perfect couple, man. But yeah. that's the thing about life. Like everything on the outside, it looks like that. But sometimes it's not that. And yeah. uh, I'm actually proud that uh, yeah. she has stayed by my side um, as yeah. far as me just trying to grow as a man, as a young man and just learning from mistakes and just yeah. trying to be better for her and also better for myself. So yeah. you say like, how's just life? Life, life is, life is, life is beautiful, man. Cause yeah. it, it, it could be on the other side of things. And right now, like I'm on the good side of things and uh, I'm blessed. I'm fortunate. I'm very, very, very thankful for my wife. Very thankful for her family. Mm -hmm. She has an amazing brother. I appreciate him too, man. Cause <laughs> Sometimes I lean on him for, you know, advice sometimes, but just on life and just things in general. So I'm actually blessed right now, man. Shout out to my father-in-law. Shout out yeah. to my mother-in-law. Uh, 
just being here for me, man. It's it's, it's truly a blessing because I've, I've I've been through some stuff. So yeah. well, life's good right now. Well, to life's be fair, good. if you've obviously been through stuff, I can understand why life's good for you yeah. and everything else. Yeah. And literally, so obviously, what you and your wife been married for two years. That's that. Tell you something. Obviously, some people don't last that long. Some people don't last that long with marriage. You know, I've I've seen people fucking be married only like six months and they're fed up with each other. <laughs> so yeah, um, so obviously yeah, that's that's. So you obviously your life with obviously your wife and everything. So um, what about your passion then? My passion. Apparently, yeah, apparently you're known for your loud chest pounding streams. Man, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. That that type of that type of energy that comes out of me yeah. is really fueled from my childhood. Yeah. How are you doing, so, Paul? Welcome in. Sorry about that. So just kind of what I do is I just try to channel things that I've been through my pain or anything i try to tell them that it's good yeah. because i've always said that when i age out of foster care i want to try to get back to yeah. the foster care system at some some point but i'm not gonna lie i haven't been able to kind of do that yeah but i was trying to just see ways of just trying to be positive okay. uh just try to you know give out some type of energy best way possible yeah. and i feel like it actually just happens it's not like something i just kind of oh we're gonna do this today it yeah. just kind of it just kind of happens, but that passion, man, it, it's filled from so much, man, just uh, so much I've been through, just being doubted, just, it's so, it, the list goes on, man, being told you you won't be here, being told yeah. you, 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 you'll never see your family again, or, or you'll never do this, you'll never do that, and like, so all the nevers, instead of just, you know, outbursts, or, you know, because, which is something my wife taught me, <laughs> you can yeah. kind of act on impulse, oh, yeah. acting on impulse, so, you know, you can kind of do all kind of crazy things. And instead of doing those crazy things, I just kind of always said, I just want to kind of be able to give out, man. That's why my, one of my quotes is be great or be forgotten. So I just kind of try to do things, man, so that whenever my day comes, people do remember like, man, he always bought it. He always just was positive, always kind of gave us yeah. the energy. I feel like I can always kind of touch somebody with my type of energy, man. You could be going through something. It could be just a bad day, bad work day. You may have not even eaten today. Just anything, man. It just might make you want to just get up and do something, bro. Yeah. Like I feel like we need more of that, more of that. Um, whether it's in the community, whether it's in the world, whatever the case is. Because, like I said, you know, outside of Twitch, outside of streaming, there's things that go on in real life. So I just try to, you know, whenever people get the time, they come through. Yeah. I try to get them the best that I can, man. And just trying to leave it there. So that's kind of where the passion just comes from, and it just it continues to build. It just yeah. continues to build. So. But yeah, uh, it is it is Delhi Meat himself in the show as well. How are you doing, Delhi? Wifey, wifey <laughs> is in the building too. Yeah, okay. Delhi's in the building. Pink Sloan, some flowers right, in the building. Right. Okay. <laughs> literally, we got a lot of people in there right now. So yeah, if you all literally have any questions, ask him. Ask it away because we are here to ask questions as well, right? So now, he, he's a, so I'm going to ask you. Obviously, with this, obviously you said about what was it before? It was about this loud thing on your streaming, right? And the passion there. Yeah, you are right with obviously streaming when you're streaming and you don't have that energy and all that lot. You are right with that because sometimes I've felt it. I'm going to be honest with streaming. I've felt um, no energy come out, shell and everything else. So I get where you're coming from with the whole thing. Literally. Um, coffee, sir, coffee's in here as well. Bloody hell, we're all coming in. Bloody hell, might need a, might need a slow down chat of this, right? <laughs> but anyways, because I'm not used to people being in here. Literally. <laughs> well, you've brought the whole community with you. That's a good sign, man. That good is sign. a good sign. That is a good sign. So, I've heard. Obviously, you've told me you're a family man, and obviously, Deli Meat has also told me big on loyalty and commitment. And literally, I thank you for any. Thank you for doing the slow mode, Jay. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, but yeah, obviously, you are good at Call of Duty. Am I wrong? 
I'm alright. You're alright. Right. How good are you? On a scale? Yeah. I'm going to give myself like a six. You're giving yourself a six. Does everybody else myself. in the chat agree that have seen him? Give myself <laughs> Respectfully, humbly, a six. Humbly a six. Yeah, we've obviously the modeling. Um, is there anything else that, like, obviously before you were streaming? Before you were streaming, is there anything else you were doing? Um, I've been working on getting my irrigation contractor's license. Okay. Um, I work with my father-in-law. He's been in landscaping for huh. over 40 plus years. I'll ask that in a minute. I will ask that in a minute. <laughs> Pink so it kind of got me into that, if that makes sense. Yeah. And one day he was just telling me, you know, why not? Why not try to go into business for yourself? Yeah, but you got to want it. So I said, okay, okay. So now he's just kind of been showing me the ropes. I've been paying attention a little bit. Yeah. Uh, went and ordered the book off Amazon. Preparing to take the test this Thursday, actually, uh, to try yeah. to get it. I did take it the first time. I admit I did not pass it, but I was close. Yeah. To pass it, so uh, fingers crossed, I'm able to secure that uh, license this Thursday. Hmm. But I that's pretty much a lot of what my time is being taken yeah. up on the outside of Twitch. That's what I do. Okay. So, so, talking of obviously Twitch, what made you come into streaming then? Is there any sort of thing that made you come into it? Or... I've always had a conversation with Pink about streaming yeah. or just wanting to do anything like on that level, uh, just streaming. When I had a wreck, I had my first wreck um, August 20th of last year. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of just jump-started it, being that I, would, you know, I couldn't do anything. I had a torn disc in my lower back, Ooh. torn disc in my uh, neck, yeah, or neck. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just was kind of down. But I've always kind of wanted to start it, mm -hmm. just didn't know how or when. And that just kind of happened. And I just kind of took off from there. Yeah. But like I said, I've always had the thought of just trying to give back in some sort. Okay. Like, in some sort of way. And I guess, I, I'm, guess I'm going to say the opportunity just kind of presented itself at, at that moment. I know you're not really thinking that when you just had a wreck. You're just, oh, man, like my car. Or, yeah. you know, you're not really thinking what's going to come after that. But it just kind of happened. Oh. Damn. And from then, I just didn't look back on it. I just kind of kept pressing forward. Yeah. I'm um, just learning, learning as I go. So Damn. that's pretty much. It. That's, that's that sounds. I mean, the, especially the disc in your back as well. Ouch. Damn. <laughs> yeah. I feel for you on that. <clears throat> so you know, even though I've not been in, I've been in one before. I feel for you on that. So obviously that brought you into streaming then. <clears throat> so, uh, oh, thank you for the raid, KT. I appreciate that. Um, literally, we are doing a trim wag right now. Uh, but yeah, I feel I do feel for you on that one because obviously, um, you know, it's not very nice having a wreck. And um, yeah. yeah, is there is there any um, other thing that made you come into streaming, or just was it that? Um, no, it's. Not actually that either. Um, I actually was wanting to do something for me and Pink. Yeah. Uh, I, always, I you know I hear everybody say, "Oh, you, you're good at imitating this voice. You're good yeah. at just doing this. You're good at entertaining sometimes, or just." Hey, fat so I, was wondering, so like, I don't know who you are, but first time chat, I welcome in. So I've always wondered, like, if I just gave it a shot, yeah, what type of opportunities I can create for me and my wife. Yeah. Uh, you know, just creating a lifestyle for us, doing like doing it, and obviously I'll be doing something that I love, because yeah. that's everybody's dream job of being able to do something that you love to do, but also get paid for it. And I've told her I always want to be a part of, you know, Call of Duty leagues or just just anything in that kind of ballpark. Just streaming, just giving back, just being positive, giving yeah. energy, feeding off. And just yeah. seeing where it takes me, seeing if I can create something 
uh, seeing if I can build something for us. And yeah. uh, my biggest thing for myself is always what can I do to help put her in the situation? Because uh, my father-in-law actually said something to me, but is that, I mean, it's kind of, it's just true. Like I got something I kind of knew, but yeah. you know, when you hear it a lot, you just like, oh, okay. Like he said that if I make it, his daughter makes it. Yeah. I mean, that's just kind of plain mm-hmm. and simple. You know, if, it, if I'm, whether, whether it was streaming, yeah. Whether it's a job, whether whatever it is, if I'm making it in something, man, I know that she doesn't have anything to worry about. And that's one of my main things that I'm always, you know, just wondering about, like, what can I do? How can I put us in a position to do this? Or So, like I said, with the streaming, man, when I had the chance, I'm talking to her about it countless nights, yeah. countless days. Sometimes she hear me complaining, like, oh, man, I didn't do this, or I should have did this, or like just nonstop, nonstop, nonstop. But I'm also knowing like it's just a part of the process. But I'm so passionate about wanting to do something and wanting to be something yeah. in it, like in Switch, man, and just becoming like a name that's familiar, becoming a name that people love and just are drawn to. Like it's like it's in me so much, man. Like, like I want it so bad, but I know like it's patient. But sometimes I get impatient. Like it's just. I don't know, man. I just get so caught up in thinking about her future, thinking about my future, our future, the future I'm trying to build for us, and just mm-hmm. what I can do in the streaming world. And sometimes, you know, I just kind of get caught up in that. So, yeah. But yeah, man, that's that's the other reason why I do it is my wife just wanting to build something for her. I know if I put my mind to it, stay locked in and do it, there's no telling what can happen. Um, yeah. So yeah. Well, I've got to admit that is actually quite that is actually quite um, a good reason to do it. I mean, not many people will do that. F- not many people will do. Not many people will do streaming for that sort of reason. And I've I've heard people why they do streaming. Some of them, some of them not so. You know, some of them want to do it for the money. Some of them want to do it for you know all this lot. I mean, I I, I did it. Because I thought it was fun. I'm not gonna lie. Not, I didn't have. I didn't have. You know, I didn't have the same backstory as that. Or yes, yes. Uh, okay. Deli Meat has a actually a question I would like to know as well. You're a content creator for TMW, right? Correct. Right. So uh, he right. asked, "Why did you join TMW? Why did I join TMW? Sure. The question should be, why did TM join? No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing. Uh, no, man. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I joined TMW yeah. was I felt that a mutual side, I feel like I can bring something that they didn't have. I know everybody says that, you know, normally when you bring people on, oh, man, I feel like I, you know. Yeah. But no, I actually feel like what I have is needed. Mm-hmm. And I also know the business side of it. I know that I need them. You know, I need the support system. Like, I need the guidance so much uh, that I, you know, just don't have. And I know it, it hasn't always, it hasn't been so, you know, uh, good. I know it's been up and down, up and down, but. I know the bigger side of things. I know the bigger reason for things. I respect Deli. Uh, I respect what he's accomplished. I expect what he's put the work in to accomplish. Because before my signing, I remember having a conversation. I think Mike uh, was streaming and me and Deli was playing. Or no, I think Mike and Deli was playing. I joined. Yeah. And, you know, we were, you know, we're playing some Battle Royale. And uh, we were just talking, man. We were just, you know, just random stuff. And the bloodbath came up, you know, that's yeah. something that Della created one of the biggest things in our community. So, um, and I just told him, I think that people miss the purpose of certain things that happen. Mm. Like the sole purpose of bloodbath is to bring people together. But I think people get confused about what's the reason for yeah. certain things. I always told him, like, I respect it. And I always seen the vision. So that automatically just kind of drew me in. And like I said, just feeling like my energy, man, was just needed. Like I feel like sometimes it's dull. Sometimes like uh, somebody needs a laugh. Somebody yeah. needs just like I said earlier in the conversation. I just I just feel like people need that, man. I feel like I can do that 
sometimes I feel like it's my calling just to give people that that energy, give people that life, man. Because you never know who I'll be helping. I feel like that's my way of giving back. Aside yeah. of it, I can also, you know, give you guys some content from, you know, <laughs> you know, playing card or playing whatever, man. Like I feel like I, I will, could just I bring. I will ask him that. Who did I miss it from? I feel like I bring a balance, and so I think for me it was just a hundred percent, just yeah, like yeah, gas is sound, yeah. gas is sound. Because right. along with that, yeah. everybody's just a W, and I just you know just wanted to be a part of that, man. Yeah. So. Right, so who did I miss that from? Because I never saw that question. Just to ask. Was it you, Pink Sunflower? Because if it was, oh, I apologise. <laughs> Whoever it was why? missed That's it from, I apologise. But, yeah, it was from Pink Sunflowers. I thought so. Sorry, Pink Sunflowers, I uh, missed that question. But, obviously, the chat was going way too quick. <laughs> I never used to it going this quick. So, I apologise. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Wifey asked me that? Yep. Apparently so. Wow. Um, <sighs> let's see. Um, five years, uh, possibly. Oh, was you it? Know, <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Having my cane, uh, probably sitting in my rocking chair, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's just a... <laughs> I was going to ask uh, that. I was going to ask, how old are you? <laughs> five years. Five years. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 27. Oh, right. Five years. You're younger than me. Just turned 27, just turned 27 in yeah. uh, August. Um, but, nah, in five years, man, uh, I see myself doing whatever God has planned for me yeah. doing. As long as I keep my mindset as long as I stay focused. I yeah. see myself uh, watching Pink, man, in the house of her dreams or mm -hmm. or seeing her accomplish the goals that she wanted to set out. Like, I see myself just sitting back, just smiling, man. Maybe, you know, we have our kids there. Like, I yeah. see the brand that I'm currently under. Uh, I see that being successful. I see myself being a part of something bigger. I see just... I don't know, man. I feel like I see just a lot of positive, positive things. I don't want to sit here and lie to you and say, "Oh, I see myself," you know. Yeah. Uh, you know, like common thing, like people mm. say, "Oh, I see myself in a huge truck, man, huge house." Like, nah, I just see myself in five <laughs> years, man, just sitting back with no regrets. I see yeah. myself just putting it all out there and just feeling like whatever and wherever I'm at in five years, and at that, you know. At that finish line, I feel like I will be very accomplished. I feel like in five years that the goals that I have set for myself, I feel like a few of those goals will definitely be achieved by now. Yeah. By the time. So. Yeah, they're good goals to okay. have. <laughs> okay. Gaming. Okay. Five years. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and answer since you said yeah. you meant gaming. In gaming, mm -hmm. I actually see myself with a pretty pretty nice setup man um i don't have that currently right now so yes in five years hopefully i have a pretty nice setup yeah um hope to be a more established uh player gamer yeah. uh, also streamer as well mm -hmm. because it could be days i just do reactions or just chatting yeah and y'all just get like a whole another side of data <laughs> like you know i hope to be like hope to be that established but i hope to be like to where i can give you guys more uh so in five years i'm i'm, I'm praying that you know some, some things have changed along the way so when we get there y'all can see a little bit more so yeah. yeah so obviously um another question i did have which yeah. is quite interesting um obviously you said that you and your missus matt in um was it high school uh, college it? college in college um obviously you've been married two years right uh going on going okay. on two years yeah going so on two years where do you see yourself in the next five years with her sorry if sorry if this is too personal by the way <laughs> i'm just coming nah, up questions <laughs> personal where do i see myself with her in five years um well for starters 
God honest truth. For starters, mm -hmm. I see myself being a better version of this husband that she sees yeah. in five years. Mm -hmm. I hope that she sees a whole completely different version of this husband. I hope that this husband can learn from every single mistake yeah. and continue to press forward so that I could be the best version of myself for her uh, solely because I feel like she deserves it solely because she needs it. Yeah. And I feel like that is just, you know, that is just make things better. If that makes sense. You yeah. got to think it's bear thing, man. When her dad gave her up, like that's like, she's now my responsibility. Yeah. So there's no more, you know, childish, just childish dad. There's no more, uh, oh, this is just okay. It's not like, yeah. it's not, it's not. So, um, and I don't know, man. I feel like how I approach myself with her, how I approach our relationship, our marriage, um, mm -hmm. approach it pretty high. I'm aware that I fall short, but I know that I want to I in five years. I want to be something. I want to be something better than what she's seeing now in five years, mm -hmm. for sure. Oh, for sure. That's good. For sure. That's yeah. good. Doc. That's good. So we have three questions in the chat box right now. Um, here's one: Is Doc ready for the gamer reflexes to not be as sharp when he gets older? <laughs> Am I ready? From Jay Horner, yeah. by the way. You ready? From, from, Jay, who asked that? from Jay Horner, 87, one of my followers. He, he asked that. He said, am I ready? Yeah, are you for... ready for the gamer reflexes to not be as sharp when you get older? <laughs> actually, I actually am. You I actually, actually am, man. I think it's, I, yeah, because I, I, I think with me, it's going to be pure comedy, man. I think I'm just going to go with it. If something just not there, I'm, you know. It's just gonna hey. be. I don't know. I think like it's gonna be pure comedy, man. Hey. So yes, yes, yes. Hey, he asked. Yeah. That, that's not the most. Person, that's yeah. not the most uh, weird question. Your know, weirdest question he's asked. He's asked Dolly me. How'd you eat yours? Dolly <laughs> 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 J, I had to bring it into conversation right now. Um, yeah. So Dolly me asked. He wants to get into esports. Does he want to go to LAN events as a pro or be a more casual athlete doing event and entertaining? That's a very, very good question. Um, to be honest with you, I see myself being capable of doing both. Mm. It's an either or. I feel like whatever is needed at the time, whether it's you know just team based or whether just what deadly whatever it is man i feel like if i put my mind to it i know that i'll bring it i know i won't be a disappointment so do i see myself i could be the esports or i could be a little bit of entertaining and being an athlete i feel like i'm capable of doing both honestly right. I, I really do okay. i really do believe i can do that okay so. mike can't be like mike ask him who his favorite latino streamer is <laughs> Don't uh, these are questions that are coming up. All right, I'm just, I'm just asking. Uh, Mike, <laughs> Mike, let's see. Um, it's a guy. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, I think his name is it can't be can't be like Mike. <laughs> Might be yeah. I think his name. Bro. He's a huge huge Cardinals fan. Um, one of actually one of my biggest inspirations, uh, which I think. Not too many people know this, but Mike is actually one of my biggest yeah. inspirations in the Call of Duty community, actually. I've said on multiple occasions, even daily to everybody, that uh, Mike is by far one of the best just Call of Duty players that I've seen, bro. Yeah. Just skill-wise. Just like, I've, bro, we played once, which I know we got to finish it. I know we got to finish it. But I was able to get a game on Mike, man. We're 1-1 one, yeah. one right now. Really? But we did not finish it. Wow. So yes, Mike, you are the favorite, Mike. But <laughs> yes, man, he just he's just he he's just all around W man. I'm sure he's gonna say no this, no that, but Mike is actually one of my huge motivations, man, in call in Call of Duty, bro. I've I've told many people I've not seen nobody not use a scope, bro. I don't think it's many times he even used a scope. He's just the iron sight, bro. It's just skill level IQ wise, yeah. like it's just 
it's top tier, man. It's top tier. Is there anything else you you know you're interested in, or whatnot? Whilst we're you know whilst I'm doing this, at some point, yeah. um, at some point, once I build my uh, once I build myself up, build my name up, yeah. I'm just looking to present the same opportunities that was presented to me. Because yeah. I know there's, you know, a lot of other upcoming streamers, whether it's, you know, teenagers or, or, or whatever the case is, man, just coming in and not really knowing which way to go, bro. If I could just give out that same, you know, positive outlook that, you know, some of my peers gave me mm -hmm. uh, at, at some point, I would definitely, definitely love to do that, man. Just to give back. Um, that's that's one of the things I would love to do, man. Because I feel like. I feel like this, which is kind of, which is kind of true. Uh, you get, you, you get to a point where uh, certain streamers, whether you blow up or whether you just feel like you kind of made just a name for yourself and you kind of feel like you're like here. I feel like we kind of sometimes lose ourselves, if that makes sense, because um, yeah. we kind of get caught up in the moment. But I feel like I need y'all to bear with me and remind me at any point if I kind of get out of that, because I want to make sure that I stay. Uh, within my field, with like within my range, if that makes sense, uh, just not getting outside of that. Yeah. I want to continue being a positive influence, man, as much as I can, as long as I'm here. So, uh, I know I'm talking like I'm freaking 40, 50, like an old <laughs> head, but at the same time, it's just I feel like I want to do that. Like, I don't want to just get like get to a point, you know, or Delhi help me, you know. We just keep growing. We keep growing. And then, like, all, oh, like, you know, somebody asked me, hell, yeah. man, how do you do this? Like, oh, go YouTube it or go, you know. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not going to. Like, I want to be able to help you, man, because, like, I was once at that point. So, yeah. So that's one of the main things I want to do, man, at some point, once I build myself up, just be able to give back uh, to the community, help people out. Um, that's, like, up-and-coming streamers, non-affiliates, whatever the case is, just kind of help and kind of steer you in certain ways. If I can, yeah. if I have the resources, just do it, man. I don't I, I don't feel like we should gatekeep it from others if they're trying to work and be something. Why not help them? Yeah. What is it going to hurt? It's not, I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to hurt just, anything, really. Just, just try to help. Man. So You know, that's you have one streamers that do gatekeep it from other people. I've got to admit, you do have a lot of streamers that don't help other people. Yeah, because one of, one of my main... And, you know my support system they'll know i say this all the time man nobody left behind that's one of my main things that i preach since i started streaming i've always said nobody left behind bro because i feel like there's a lot of people get left behind and i know everybody's not meant to go with you i'm aware of that i'm aware of that but if you're able to help man do that whether they come with you or not do what you can man like i don't ever want to be looked at in that light like i want to be able to know somebody oh man that always helps he always gives advice so yeah what makes you make the loud noises then is there any such thing in the stream or is it just the energy that comes out of it or you know just <laughs> what do you i mean i don't know man you know just <laughs> hey what's the first thing on your mind right now Jonesy? you don't mind me asking uh, i don't mind you asking first thing on my mind right now it's... right now Probably to put on a good show. <laughs> you said putting on a good show? Yeah. yeah. Putting on a good show? Yeah. You want to put on a good show? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. What? Come on, bro. Let's put on a show. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, you see, it just... See what I'm oh, saying, bro? It just... Energy. Yeah. It just happens, bro. It just see. Yeah. There you go. You know, first thing when I it just happens, stream man. is that. You know? I really just go off. Of, I just go off the vibes, man. I really just go off the vibes. I promise, like whatever it is, dull vibes, high vibes, no matter the vibes, I just go off of it. Yeah. I feed off of it, man. and I just boom. It just happens. Like, see, I said, what was the first thing you thought about? You want to put on the show? Mm. So, like, instantly, I'm not even lying, bro. If you, bro, if, if y'all can see my heart, just right now, it's just. Like instantly, man. Like you want to put on a show? Let's put on a show, man. Like <laughs> let's get into it, bro. I know. Like, he said, Deli Meat said um, that Dot is an entertainer and he will dominate it. <laughs> oh 
one, man. Like, bro, I'm telling you. Oh, I know. Telling you, man. God. Because I feel like once I like, bro, I feel like once I engage in that, and I get hyped about it, mm. and like you get hyped about it. I feel like, like it's like a mission complete, man. Like, because now you've went from just being completely calm to now you're like, <laughs> yeah. And like sometimes, man, people like people don't even realize it, like that they have it in them. And yeah. Like, it'll just come out and you'll be like, bro, I, like in your mind, I've never thought I could do that. Never thought I could do this. Like, <laughs> it's just the energy, man. Like you just like, sometimes you need that. You, know, yeah. like, you just need that. Like, like the laugh, like you just laugh, man. It was just good, good energy, good vibes. Like, yeah. You may have needed that, man. You just never know. Like it really just happens, man. I promise. I just feed off of, feed yeah, off yeah. the energy and like, it just comes out, man. It's just, it's just. Well, right. You said your first Call of Duty was Modern Warfare, right? So, obviously, being Modern Warfare, is there any other game that you've been, like, well, you could say religious on? Like, got every single edition of? Uh, Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat? Oh, that's a good one. Armageddon. Uh, Armageddon. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Mm-hmm. I remember mm-hmm. that game. That game was fucking mm-hmm. awesome. Mm-hmm. So have you? So have you got the new edition of Mortal Kombat? I haven't. Yeah, I haven't, man. You got... I haven't. Oh my goodness, I haven't. Oh. I've been meaning to, man. In oh my Mortal goodness. Mortal Kombat One. Cause I was hurt. I was hurt, man. Like you know, I'm a huge Luke Kane fan. I've been a huge Luke Kane fan. So when the whole the mishap happened, you know, when Raiden had to kill him and all that stuff, he comes back evil and just stop him. Then he goes to God, but like, oh man, jeez. Yeah. Like, yeah, thank you for being on the show, Jada. I'm literally, yeah, just checking out on Twitch, guys, because obviously that is that is Jada. Literally, he is he is full of energy. If you don't, if you've not seen his Twitch streams already, he is full of energy. Literally interacts with the crowd and everything else. So I will raid out now and literally. I'll be back with a chinwag, probably. Oh, you drop a follow hazard. Fair dues, fair dues. But I will probably be back with a chinwag in, I don't know, probably a week or so because I've got to do more of these podcasts anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back. T- I'll be back on Friday uh, with I don't know what yet. Doc, thank you for letting us in more. <laughs> Uh, first and foremost, thank yep. you, Jonesy, man, for having no me. Uh, Deli, thank you so much, man, for setting me up with such a W, w man, bro. Uh, also, want to give a huge shout out, first and foremost, to my wife, man. Uh, thank you so much, baby, for being here. Uh, shout out to my brother in law, shout out to my brother Slush, man. Shout out to Mike Britt, the whole TMW family, and outside of the TMW family, shout out to all the supporters, man, the love that we've gotten today. Um, shout out to the new people that we met, shout out to Jonesy, man. <laughs> for using his platform uh taking up his time man to interview me get to know me um and also actually it, it's exposure as you said man networking so i appreciate that as well no man problem. uh also before i go <laughs> and before i end it man <laughs> remember this always from j dot okay mm-hmm. all right mm-hmm. <laughs> hey <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Come on, man. Remember it. Yeah. Write it down. Take a picture, bro. It's me. <laughs> Don't forget it, bro. Oh yeah, I know. Don't forget. Oh it. man, we so, here. Let's go, down. It's him. <laughs> Come on. Man. Uh, All right, man. Yeah. I just had to do it for one time, man. I had to do it for one time. Yeah, anyways, I'll be back on Friday, guys. I will see you then. And yeah, peace out. Okay.